He and school officials in Queens, New York, for doing nothing, essentially, to stop the years of bullying that he endured. His name is Joey Berry. Phil Rizzuto is Joey's attorney. Welcome. Thank you, Rosa. So let's start it off. Just give me a laundry list of the kind of things that Joey had to put up with. Laundry list from the first day that Joseph uh, started PS98 in third grade, he was uh, harassed by uh, this kid, bully, uh, a lot bigger than him. Uh, the kid testified during the trial that he didn't like Joseph because of the way he wore his hair, the way he dressed, the way he walked, and he just didn't like anything about him, and he started harassing him. Uh, most of the harassment was verbal. Uh, it was done every single day during the recess, sometimes uh, twice a day when they had gym. Joey, what and would he say to you? Um, the big thing was speckle juice, but thing, things were just like go out of control, start cursing, uh, things about the way I dressed, the way I looked. So this finally got physical? Yes. yes. What did he do to you physically? Uh, the first incident was in third grade, he wanted uh, to fight. He started pushing me in the lunchroom. I said, listen, I don't want to fight. That's not the way I was brought up. Yeah. And I just didn't want to fight him. But it got worse than that. Then uh, he finally, didn't he kick you or knock you down? In the, we, I was walking up the stairwell because I was a first aid monitor. Yeah. And I was bringing a kid up uh, into the nurse's office. He was coming down the stairs when I was walking up. He kneed me in my stomach on the way up. And uh, I told the nurse, and she did nothing about it. But something it. else happened that you ended up, your wrist got hurt. That's in uh, the fifth grade when um, I was playing the game handball, and he was out 10 minutes for because um, he got in trouble. Yeah. And towards the middle of the game, he's walking towards the wall, and I'm running towards the wall, and he puts his foot out, and I trip over it, and he pushes me into the wall. And then uh, I put my hands out to block myself from the wall, but it causes the left one to... Uh, break and the right one to be uh, severely fractured. Hmm. And the school official, Phil, very quickly didn't do anything, to, like didn't contact the, the bully's mother to get him to stop it? They did nothing. Nothing? They did that nothing. That seems incredible. They didn't even call right, the mom? Exactly. They didn't call the mother. They, ne they never even really spoke to the kid. Uh, there was one incident where they pulled the kid aside and they said to him, uh, you know, why don't you stop teasing the other kids? Because this kid didn't just tease Joseph. There was another girl in the school that he would tease because she was fat. Uh, he picked on her constantly, and he even got into a physical uh, altercation with her. Okay. And the school did nothing. All right, we want to bring your case into a larger question. Com coming up next, you're going to meet a city councilman who says we ought to outlaw bullying in schools, but is that the right way to handle this thing? Fair and balanced debate in just a moment on Dayside. Now, about whether there ought to be a law against bullying. There's one being proposed in New York City in the schools as we speak. Joey and Phil are still with us. Also joining us now, Michelle Malkin. She's a Fox News analyst and a syndicated columnist. And John New. He's a New York City councilman. He actually co-sponsored this new ban, or this proposed ban, on bullying. Welcome. A lot of people are uh, watching this or saying, well, wait, I thought, you know, I thought bullying was already banned in schools. Why do you need this? Well, it's, it's so ridiculous to think that something like this could happen in this day and age to Joey. And it turns out my son, his name is Joey too, he's starting school this September. I, it's hard to, for me to believe that something like this could possibly happen to my own son. So, but why do so, you need it? I mean, if, you know, if a good principal shouldn't let it happen, why Well, because the bullying is going on. It's going on in our public schools all across the country. Uh -huh. And we need to start making systematic changes in our school systems to address the problem. The first thing that we have to do is to identify that the problem still exists and not to simply sweep it under the rug. Well, Michelle, I mean, it's sort of a no-brainer that bullying still exists. It's been going on forever, and, you know, part of it is human nature. But does there need to be, you know, something, a policy, a written policy? Has well, it gotten so bad? I don't they, think... Uh... Hang on, let me just give Michelle a chance, and then I'll bring you in, okay, Phil? Go ahead. Well, my feeling about it is that, uh, that these kind of policies are redundant, and they're a patch, they're a band-aid, and it covers up the fact that the public schools do a terrible job of enforcing the laws that are already on the books at the city level, at the education of the department level, and at the state level, that they're supposed to protect kids. And it, uh, the problem with the New York City rule and a lot of these anti-bullying laws across the country is that they're totally overbroad, and we're not just talking about uh, the bullying that Joey suffered from. We're talking about uh, much more vague um, definitions of harassment, taunting. Mm -hmm. um, look, people are always going to, um, kids are always going to shoot dirty looks at other kids, but believe it or not, in some of these states, 
dirty looks are against the law. It's ridiculous. Phil, you wanted to say something. I agree with uh, Michelle. Um, I think the uh, bill that's generated by uh, the city council is just uh, another bureaucratic method to generate more paperwork. Uh, that, that bill has no teeth. And what really needs to be done is, um, I, I mean, something has to be done to the school officials for not taking any action. Uh, Stanley Waxman, the senior partner of my firm, has taken this issue very, very seriously, and he's set up an organization, Parents Against Bullies, to accomplish what Let me this bill in. should accomplish. Because we have limited time, I really want to ask Joey. You know, there are some people who might say, look, it's a fact of life in childhood. It's not pretty. It shouldn't happen. But it does. Yes. Are you, I think you want people to know that you're not just some crybaby who couldn't handle it, so he went to the, you know, he no. went to a lawyer. There's only so much that you can take after three years of torment, day in and day out, that it caused me not to want to go to school. I would make up excuses not to go, so I wouldn't have to go through this torture every day. And some, something had to be said, and I'm glad that the jury heard me. For once, somebody heard me about what was going on. Linda, we can't... Linda, we can't always use, well, it's just human nature, and it's going to happen as an excuse not to do anything. You know, the lawyers out there who are collecting big fees when there's lawsuits, they may oppose this kind of bill. But the fact is our bill in the city council will whoa, define, whoa, 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 whoa. will not the, simply the, set up paperwork. The, the problem you have it will, is it that will it is a fact the of life. To let, and that cracking system Phil, you doesn't mind, do gonna, anything about it. Gonna, it is I'm, a fact of life, and you that's can't, why you're not we, gonna stop. You have that's to start our the bill school requires. officials, and it's the school officials that need to be penalized and that have to have repercussions when they fail to act. Now We're with that. Right. We're with that. The that bill doesn't mention anything about consequences. That it the, is a lot of legal mumbo jumbo right, generated guys, by politicians. No one can hear you if you're talking over each other. So, Phil, you've had your say. The John, legal, finish up very quickly. The, the school officials are not held accountable because the incidents are not tracked. They're swept under the carpet. That's why the Dignity for All Students Act, which is a bill I'm co-sponsoring with Councilmember Gerson, it requires the school system to track these incidents from year to year. But you There's know, but no what they're saying is, right I, I, and I've got to wrap it up here, gentlemen, they want to do more than just track it. They want to act the, on it and stop it. So that yeah. kids like Joey That's don't correct. have to go through that sort of nonsense That's again. correct. There okay. should be consequences. Okay. We've got to leave it there. Thank you all. Thank we you. appreciate it. Coming up on the lighter side of things, a very special delivery at the San Diego Zoo with a face.